So I wanted to first ask, why did Elon decide to partner with Student Blue? And I know you mentioned <laughs> it started in 2018, so why now, why then? Yeah. A couple of things, I think that there are several things that I would attribute it to. One is because we found that there were groups of students who didn't have access to student health insurance mm -hmm. due to their immigration status, some of them from their age. Um, graduate students sometimes fall in, in that um, kind of murky area of being able to get insurance. So we really felt a commitment that we needed to offer student health insurance. We also have had more and more um, requests from parents mm -hmm who may have had a student at another college and would call us and say, We're I want to enroll in student health insurance, whereas we weren't offering it <coughs> because we didn't, we weren't ready at that point to offer, to do an, an opt-out plan. Now in North Carolina, you can't have a total voluntary policy. It has oh, to be an opt-out okay. plan. Um, you know, our, our international students, some of them were coming with insurance that was difficult for them to use in the area, so we needed to find a good plan that would stabilize for our international in students. Um, we have lots of students who come from places that have high deductibles um, and high co-insurance if they're out of network, I mean, really high. And so um, just this fall, we had two students a week apart, one who had an appendicitis and the other one who had an injury, they had insurance, but because their insurance was from out of state and had a really high deductible, um, all of their costs to the tune of about six or $8,000 were out of pocket. So we really felt like it, it was time. We'd been working on this pri prior to COVID. Of course, COVID made us all stop because we had to attend to some other things first. And so we, um, but we last year really began to pick it back up in earnest. Um, there are two companies in North Carolina that offer kind of the student insurance plans, and then, but really, Elon or, or Student Blue or Blue Cross Blue Shield uh, offered the plan that we felt like best met our students' needs, more comprehensive. Definitely, and you know, I think a lot of of what's on students' minds when they hear university is offering yeah. health insurance is that cost associated right. with it. So can you tell me a little bit about what that cost will look like for students who both choose to opt into Student Blue and those who do not choose to opt in? So as far as insurance costs go, um, it's about $1,300 a semester, um, and um, which for many students is, um, is going to be much less than they would pay even mm -hmm. if they had um, a you know, a single really trip to the emergency room would be, might be more than if they had an MRI or those things. Um, graduate students will be about a $1,900, a little bit more than that, because they're in a different risk pool mm -hmm. for insurance okay. a semester. Um, but it still is a very comprehensive plan because it covers all of the facets of the um, Affordable Care Act. So it includes mental health coverage, it includes coverage for um, prescriptions, it includes coverage for uh, tests, it includes inpatient and outpatient benefits, it includes um, gender affirming care, it includes reproductive care or, uh, and um, other kinds of, of uh, concerns that students might have. So it's very comprehensive. Um, so, you know, the, the cost when we did a, a kind of a market analysis of trying to find a similar product in the marketplace for a student, it would be probably about $6,000 a year, wow. um, up to about $16,000 a year, depending on, mm -hmm. on their risk pools. So, um, you know, it's um, this particular plan um, is a plan that's used at, at many of our cohort schools in North Carolina, as well as the entire university system in North Carolina. So. You know, we know it's founded in, in um, good service to students. We know that they're, they're used to working with students. They're very responsive. We got very good feedback when we went and talked with our partners about how they worked with students. So. Wonderful. And, you know, as the university gets ready to make this announcement and let students know about Student Blue, what's the number one thing that you want students to understand and know about what's coming? Well, one I would say is that this is not mandatory insurance if they have other insurance. Um, that 
if as long as they have insurance they can waive out the waiver process we had some students test it today it took about two minutes okay. um, and so it's it's a very easy process to go in fill it out upload your insurance card and so and, and we use very broad criteria as long as it provides emergency coverage in Alamance County um, then you know it will meet the waiver criteria if the student doesn't meet the waiver criteria then they can if they want to go to the marketplace then they can certainly do that um, they just would then upload once they get their coverage they would upload it to the system but it's this is really a good option for students who, who can't get insurance anywhere else um, and or for those students who you know whose families they have insurance maybe it costs for some of our families it costs five or six thousand dollars a year to insure their student on their policy this they could take them off the primary policy this can be a secondary policy um, so it, it it covers a broad range of needs for our students from students who don't have anything to students mm -hmm. who who are trying to to look for a policy that's better going to better meet their needs it does have dependent coverage so students can opt in for dependent coverage um, if they have children or spouses or partners at home so um, that was another area of need we felt like we needed to address for our grad especially for our graduate student population mm -hmm. um, but that you know the only group for which this policy is mandated is our international students and that's to make sure that we can we know that they are in a group that's going to a policy that's going to cover them um, because they tend to have some pretty high out-of-pocket costs definitely and you know as we get ready to not yet there's still more three more months until graduation but as we get ready to go into next year where can students voice concerns give feedback or learn more mm -hmm. about the program so when we make the announcement the next day or so about that there will be um, there will be lots of resources we have certainly the university's website student blue has an elon page and that will be updated they have a customer service representative that will talk to students about that plan and can talk to students about that plan um, and then questions we have a specific email address we have a staff member identified who will be dedicated to student health insurance uh, project now and so we really want to give folks you know we know that this is new and so we want to make sure that we've got lots of areas for students and families both to get information but also if they have questions so that we can try to um, answer the questions specific questions in a, in a timely manner and in a way that they that they've come to expect we understand this is new we are um, the only one of our peer and aspirin institutions with the exception of James Madison that doesn't have man, uh, opt out insurance now and uh, you know 90% of the colleges in the country have this kind of insurance so uh, but we also recognize that it's very new for our families for the Elon yeah. family well, thank you so much, Dean Patterson. It was a pleasure to talk to you, and I'm excited for the announcement. Well, thank you. Thank you.